Good morning, everybody. I'm, I'm Mike Johnson of the 4th District of Louisiana. I'm the vice chairman of the House Republican Conference. We're delighted to be with you this morning. Uh, there are a lot of things on the minds of the American people, and it's really not January 6th. Democrats have enjoyed unilateral control of Washington for 17 months now, and we all know the results. Everybody can see what, is, what has been wrought by that. We've got record inflation, soaring gas prices, unhinged crime in our cities, and uninhibited illegal immigration. And in the midst of all of that chaos, what are they focused on? What, what gets their primetime billing? It is their seething hatred for Donald Trump and anybody who's ever supported him. That's what comes through in all of these hearings. For nearly a year, you got to think about this, the January 6th committee, for almost a year, they have invested thousands of hours, millions upon millions of taxpayer dollars. They've interviewed hundreds upon hundreds of witnesses. They about 100,000 pages of documents, and they hired lawyers, consultants, and big network TV producers. All for what? To rehash and replay a moment-by-moment -moment dissection of a terrible event that took place a year and a half ago. They thought the American people would be riveted by their production, but the ratings are in, and we know the truth, that the ratings have proven what everybody else already knew. The American people lived through all that, and they have moved on. They moved on to caring about the issues that actually affect their daily lives. The, the, the criminals involved in January 6th are being prosecuted. Lessons were learned about Capitol security that day. And the Senate produced a bipartisan report of the events over a year ago. The truth is this. The Democrats could hire an army of broadcast media executives to try to boost their ratings, but it will not change the simple facts. This election will be about three eyes and really nothing else. Inflation, illegal immigration, and incompetence. The utter incompetence of the, Washington's, uh, of the Democrats in charge of Washington is on full display now. If the Democrats want to reverse their political fortunes, they need to reverse their policies. But of course, we all know they refuse to do that. And so hardworking American families will continue to struggle as our country becomes less safe, less secure, and less stable by the hour. I'm grateful to my colleagues for joining us this morning to discuss the myriad crises facing our country that are taking a back seat to the Democrat reality show. I want to yield the podium uh, to my good friend, uh, the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. French Hill. Thank you, Mike. French Hill, I represent the second congressional district in Arkansas. On Monday, as Arkansas families were filling up for the week, they got word that gas hit an all-time high in Arkansas, $4.54, a little shy of what it is here in D.C., and the national average crossed $5. Hardworking American families are being punished. Inflation is costing the average American household an extra $460 per month for that gas, their food, their groceries. Our seniors on fixed income are being robbed daily by what is an insipid thief, inflation. First, the Biden administration informed all of us that inflation was transitory. Then they told us that inflation had peaked. Last week's CPI numbers tell another story. And in fact, Biden's policies have resulted in inflation being entrenched. As our economy reopened in late 2020, our kids went back to school.